Hello? Okay, I think it's working. I might have to play it back, but alas, here we are. We are just less two weeks away from Selection Sunday, baby. We are two whole weeks away from those top four teams getting selected to the college football playoff. I have just come back. Um, the other video should be up very shortly about my reaction to the UNT main men's basketball game because I only care about men's basketball, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, back to the real meat and bones of the situation at hand. Here we have the top 25. I have it right in front of me. And starting from the bottom of the list is Iowa State. They lost to my Texas Longhorns. And I gotta say, you know, Iowa State, they put up a pretty good fight. But in the end, we just did what we had to do, baby. Those Longhorns did what they had to do. Iowa State is now knocked out of the Big 12 title race, which is still the stupidest thing ever. But it's okay. They're now out. Pittsburgh is at number 24. They have won the ACC Coastal. Apparently, it's the sixth different team in the last six years that has won the Coastal. They're going to play Clemson in the ACC Championship in prime time. So, and we'll talk about one team later that has, um, well, climbed up into the top ten. And now that's their signature win at this point. Um, Boise State is at number 23. They have a big matchup with number 21, Utah State, this week. So kudos to both of those teams from the Mountain West. Um, it's for the Mountain Division title, and whoever wins that game is going to face Fresno State in the Mountain West Championship. Number 22 is Texas A&M, who is favored over LSU this week. Um, all I can say is, for once, even though I hate Texas A&M, I hate them with a passion, go ahead and beat LSU for me. Go ahead and beat LSU, please. Please. Please do. Um, number 21 from Utah State, we already talked about them. Syracuse, after taking a big, fat L with a mercy field goal at the end of the game against Notre Dame, it should have been a shutout, but you know what? Syracuse needed Needed something. They needed some style points. So they're number 20. Number 19, Northwestern. They're still alive, kicking, and churning up the doves as they get prepared for the Big Ten Championship game. Um, number 18 still is Mississippi State with the four losses. Let's not forget that. Um, Utah is a number 17. Washington is number 16. Utah will play the winner of Washington, Washington State in the Pac-12 championships. I mean, that's all Gucci, man. You know, those two teams could be big for Washington State down the line. Uh, I don't know anything about Utah, really. And I know Washington has kind of underachieved this year. But that's, that's perfectly fine with me. You know, it's some resume boosters for Washington State down the road. Number 15, Kentucky. Uh, after taking an L um, a couple weeks ago to Tennessee, they bounced back this week. I think they played like Middle Tennessee State or something like that. Um, it was Cupcake Saturday, so eh, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, number 14 is Texas. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see why. We lost to West Virginia. We played good this week. All we got to do now to get to the Big 12 Championship was just stupid, by the way. I don't know how many times I've said it. It's stupid that we have to play one of these teams that we've already played again. We played everybody. So, I mean, unless it's like that stupid situation from 2014 where... Um, the Big 12 should have named Baylor the Big 12 champions because Baylor beat TCU. Um, you know, now we got to play um, either Oklahoma or, or West Virginia again. I don't want to do that. I really don't, especially West Virginia. 
I, I just don't want to play it at all. Can we forfeit the Big 12 Championship, please? Like, can we cancel that game? Can we just not play it at all? I don't think we really need it. If the last two years have anything to go by, we don't need a conference championship game. Not unless we expand, but we're not expanding until 2023, so it's all good, man. Yeah, so Texas is 14, West Virginia is 13 after taking a fat L. I called it to Oklahoma State. I figured that they would lose because I find West Virginia to always do this. They always do this. So you know what I mean. Every time West Virginia gets some semblance of relevance to them, they end up blowing it. Remember 2007. Remember 1988 when they had to play Notre Dame. Remember 1993 and 1994 when they could have had a share of the national championship. No. Oh, wait. I do because West Virginia blew it again. They blew their opportunity once more, and they would have had a long shot anyway to get to the national championship um, into the top four anyway. So, finally, we can shut up about West Virginia. Penn State, number 12 in the nation. I kind of find that uh, kind, of, kind of weird, but I mean, you know. Shouldn't we be ahead of Penn State? Weren't we ahead of Penn State like several weeks ago? But, I mean, it's, it's totally fine. It's okay. It's okay. Florida is number 11. Eh. I mean, I guess. You know, I can't really say much because there's so many teams that have three losses now. Or four losses. So, you know, there's just a bunch of three loss teams in here. And, you know... I beat Florida, did beat LSU. They got curbs not by Georgia. So I mean, you know, I, I don't I don't really know. Here's something that's interesting. And now we get to the real meat of things. Forget about number eleven through twenty-five. Uh, let's get to the top ten now in Ohio State after another terrible performance. I'm talking about the Maryland should have won the game performance. Um, in overtime type of performance. And, you know, Ohio State has just not looked great. They're number 10 now. They have a long uphill battle. I mean, they do face Michigan this week, so that's all. That's good, right? That's that's great. You know, Ohio State's playing Michigan. They've beat Michigan for the last six years or so. You know, Dwayne Haskins is playing very well, but you know who's not playing well? Ohio State's defense. Um... That defense is absolutely abysmal. Uh, McFarland, the Maryland running back, he ran for like 300 yards in Ohio State. And if it weren't for um, that stupid, stupid pass where it should have been a completed pass in the end zone on the two-point conversion try, we wouldn't even be talking about Ohio State anymore. Rather, we wouldn't be talking about Ohio State. We'd be talking about them beating Michigan, which was, which is the good answer, you know. So, nightmare scenarios are in play now. They are really in play with Ohio State and Michigan because Ohio State or Michigan is going to beat each other and that will give them a second loss. And if, one of, and if one of those teams that beats one another in the game loses to Northwestern, oh, those title hopes are done, baby. Those title hopes are done. The committee doesn't really value the Big Ten all that much. Um... You know, it's just Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Northwestern. Those are the only four teams in. And really, Penn State just has looked like shit all year long. Ohio State has looked like shit all year long. So, you know, I, I can't really can't really say much about the Big Ten. Let's see. It's an inherent SEC and ACC bias. I believe, and most of the country believes anyway, so, now, the big one, the big story, you know, UCF at number nine in the nation, after finally, through all that talk, all that noise, you know, they get game day to come, I'm, I was very shocked when Maury Povich showed up on game day, uh, was anybody else shocked by that, that Maury Povich showed up, and, and started... Doesn't he have like he has like no ties to UCF at all? But I guess it was trolling or something. I don't know. 
on the ESPN's part. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at all. But they beat the dog shit out of Cincinnati. Not Cincinnati out the top 25. And, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was even close. It was, it was a bit of a struggle for them at first. Um, they still allow, like, 250 yards in the ground. But that doesn't really matter. Because um, Cincinnati blew a lot of opportunities in that game. And UCF took advantage of those opportunities. Now scored 30 points in a game once again. Like the for like the 20th or something time around that win streak is now 23. You know, that's great for them. Um, you know, the path for them is just a lot of things have to happen now. Uh, like I said, the Northwestern has to beat either Ohio State or Michigan. Uh, Washington State has to lose. LSU has to lose. Um, Oklahoma has to lose to West Virginia. Georgia has to lose. Maybe Notre Dame loses, maybe Clemson loses, hell, maybe an Alabama loses, you know. They're stuck at number nine right now, and they could climb just a little bit more. Maybe not the top four, but it's still possible. It's still There's still a chance for UCF to jump in the top four. So I'm going to retain that 1% playoff chance for them right now. It's a small, small window. And, you know, Enzy Milton, the defense that has been criticized for the, for the Temple thing, uh, for, oh, well, you allowed 700 or something yards to Temple, and oh, you only beat Memphis by one. Okay, didn't Temple beat somebody? I could have sworn Temple beat, like, didn't Temple beat Pitt or Penn State or somebody like that? I know they lost, like, Villanova or something like that, but Temple, it, again, is a sneaky good team. And, you know, Cincinnati was a good defense, but UCF just overwhelmed that defense, you know? And, I mean, you gotta, you gotta give them some credit. You know, the schedule strength isn't really all that. I'm just gonna put that in quotations. I don't give a shit about schedule strength. You know, you win, and you win. Now you're getting some more respect by the committee. They play. They played way better than Ohio State by far this year. Um, Ohio State has just struggled in all facets this year, and even though UCF has struggled a little bit more on defense this year, you know they still play better than Ohio State. They still play better than them. Washington State at number eight is a. You know I didn't stay up for Pac-12 after dark. It just wasn't worth it. Really, I mean, you know, um, Utah did win the the South. Washington State is one step closer to winning the Pac-12 North, and you know they just annihilated Arizona, scoring 69 points. Gardner Minshew, Mike Leach, that air raid offense is just cooking, and Washington State needs the same kind of help UCF needs. I don't necessarily think Ohio State needs a lot of help, but, um, you know, Washington State is at number eight right now, and that's where they're probably going to stay until, you know, one of these top seven or so lose, and I'm not sure why LSU is still at number seven, or rather I am sure why they're still at number seven with that, with that good schedule that they that, that they're clinging to, you know, with the Alabamas and the Mississippi States on there and, and the Miamis and Auburns and whatnot on there. They're still clinging to that schedule strength, which really shouldn't be used as a crutch for them anymore. They have looked putrid at times. And don't give me that stuff about rice. Rice is other garbage that rice... Let me just tell you about Rice for a minute. Rice lost to the worst team in the FBS of uh, UTEP. They lost to UTEP. Now, Rice is it, basically the worst team in the FBS. Now, so, you do not get my sympathies there, LSU. You do not get my sympathies for playing the worst team in the FBS on Cupcake Saturday. You do not get my sympathies for that. I'll tell you who also doesn't get my sympathies is Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma, 
they won against Kansas, but you know, that defense is just not fixed. It, does, it doesn't make any sense. You allow 40 points to Kansas, of all teams. Kansas, the door, the doorknob, the, you know, the gangbang, the glory hole of Kansas. You allow 40 points to them. What the hell is going through that defense's mind? What do you, what do you mean? What, what are you, why are you even still in the picture for the playoff, guys? Guys! Is Will Greer going to have to torch you guys? It, it's probably going to happen. I, I do believe that Oklahoma will lose Friday night against West Virginia. None of them out of the playoff race. This this is probably the last straw. They have only a couple days now to fix it. And I don't know if they're going to fix this defense. We cannot have another Rose Bowl like that. That It was fun. But at the same time, it was absolutely atrocious defense. Ugh. Ugh. That, no. Oklahoma, just, just fix it. Georgia was, um, they allowed like 20-something points to UMass. They allowed 27 to UMass. Speaking of UMass's head coach, Mark Whipple, he got fired. You know, like he's, like, once the season over, he's gone. So, that's, that's. That's something, um, but you know, I didn't really, I didn't really watch the game. But you know, seeing that score, you know, you're not supposed to allow that many points to UMass. I know UMass isn't really um, the best team in the world, but you know, um, that is not gonna help you against Alabama. I'm just gonna be real right now. Fix that defense a little bit, Georgia. You know, I'm pretty sure there's probably something you know, that's out of your control. Maybe it's an injury or something. I have no idea. I have not watched a Georgia game in a while, so I wouldn't know at all. Michigan at number four. Um, the Wolverines are just absolutely baffling. That's the word I can think of. They baffle me at times with their ineptitude on offense and then when they want to play offense they actually do keep in mind um yeah they allowed seven points and only like 93 yards to michigan state but remember they only had 21 points nobody wants to remember that but like shea patterson can run but can he like make of the throws that are needed to win the game like like Dwayne Haskins can. I mean, I know Ohio State has struggled, but I feel that Michigan, you know, at number four, I mean, they do deserve the number four spot, but they are on thin ice. Ohio State beats them. <laughs> That's definitely it for them. And it'll be just another season of disappointment for Jim Harbaugh and the Wolverines, you know. That struggling against Indiana, you know, has just not been good. Uh, I know they've blown a bunch of teams, but, you know, blowing out Rutgers and Maryland isn't going to sway me at all. You know, Notre Dame is at number three. They have basically put themselves in place to get in. So now it might just be one more spot left. Keep in mind, they are playing USC this week in prime time. And, well, I, I don't I don't really know uh, if USC has the firepower to to um, keep up with Notre Dame. But if USC happens to win and save Clay Helton's job, um, you know, you know that's all, that's all good and dandy. And that'll knock Notre Dame out. But... That defense of Notre Dame's was absolutely was absolutely on another level. That offense with Ian Book in under center is just clicking on all cylinders, and you know it it it, it they they did it again. They they proved all of us wrong again. We thought that that was going to be the best game of the day, and well, it did not turn out that way. It ended up being Ohio State Maryland. That was the best game of the day. 
Man. Notre Dame has just one test left. With the best schedule that they put together every year, which is always one of the toughest. It may not be the one of the toughest this year, but you know, people like to laud them on that. But uh, Notre Dame may just lock up one spot next week. Another league two power five conferences out. And I hate that term power five, just to be real. Number two, Clemson. Obviously, you know, they struggled a little bit again against Duke, but they got their act together. Trevor Lawrence, ETN, you know, that defensive line, Dabo. You know, and then they just beat the brakes off of Duke. Um, so, yeah, Clemson, not going to take on Pitt in the ACC Championship. And, you know, maybe... We might be seeing, uh, once again, we might be seeing Alabama Clemson Part 4, Part 3 in the National Championship, Part 4 overall. So, it, it could happen once again. Now, speaking of Alabama, they are the final team in the top 25 at number 1. And they have just kind of looked suspect. For the entire month of November, I'm just gonna be real. You know, they they did score 29 against LSU. They scored 24 against Mississippi State. Shut them out. They shut them out, even though they really shouldn't have shut out Mississippi State. But you know, the refs, the refs, they, 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 they the refs do stuff. But you know, Alabama. Um, that first half against the Citadel was absolutely terrible. 10 to 10 with, and then in the third quarter, if it weren't for a false start, you know, the Citadel would have had a 13-10 lead and the game would have been, you know, still close, maybe. But it all it took was one mistake in Alabama, you know, got back in it and put the Citadel away. But still, I get it that the Citadel is a option-based team and they aren't one of the good FCS teams. Shout out to the FCS playoffs. We need it. We need it so bad. We need something like that so bad. But Alabama, you know, they they have struggled for the entire month. You know, they aren't putting up as many points as, you know, we'd like them to see. And, you know, Tua, I think his knee is still hurt. And, you know, I did say that the only thing that would stop Alabama is Tua's knees. And, you know, it's stopping them from completely blowing out some of these teams, you know, just, they're, they, they, they I, I don't know, it, it's going to be a dogfight with Georgia in the SEC Championship, they got to take care of business, and it's Auburn first this weekend, it's a loaded weekend of football, it is going to be absolutely fantastic, hell, there's even football tonight, but does anybody care about Maction? Nah, I don't. Unless it's an undefeated Mac team, I don't really care. Um, one final thought, and that is a problem. Where the hell is Army at in the top 25? Where are they at? UAB lost, Buffalo lost. So, you know, where is Army at? They could easily replace one of these other teams. Probably A&M, because I hate Texas A&M. But Army needs to get into the top 25. Please, please, please. The AP poll hasn't been in the top 25. The coaches poll hasn't been in the top 25. And I know those polls don't matter, but, you know, let Army in. That gives Oklahoma another good win. That gives Oklahoma another good win. See, that could add something on. That could, that could propel... Oklahoma into the top four, even though the defense is not that good. Another signature win. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Um, I don't know if there's going to be some other videos coming out this week as well. But, you know, it's all good. It's all fine. It's all Gucci. Big boy out. I'll see you guys next time.